Welcome back to Latest Family Life. I went to Grocery Outlet, which is a discount store today, and I want to share with you guys what I got. I spent a total with tax, $85.67, and the lady told me that I had a savings of $112.72, which I think is just awesome. So starting over here, I got some organic strawberries, and those were $2.00. And then I got these um, a different color sweet bell peppers. This whole bag was only $2.99. So great price. So that's product of Canada. And then these baby bell uh, cheeses were $1.99. And then I found this, and this was $2.49. I'm not sure if it's a good price or not, but it's a bigger box. It's a one pound box. The Fun Fetty, um, just add water pancake mix. I figured this would be something fun for the kiddos we can do in the morning. And this was $2.49. I love you too, Noah. And then this is what I went in for is these like, um, ham hock bones or, oh, they're ham, uh, cut, cross cut ham shanks. I love these. These are so awesome for when I do my cabbage rolls or if I do my potato soup, I love to make a stock out of them. And, um, use these um so i grabbed a bunch they are vacuum sealed as you can tell i'm gonna throw them in my freezer i grabbed all the ones they had best price under three dollars each and i can easily get like over a meal out of these two meals and then i was with my little ones while well, i was with lucas and, uh, and emma and they wanted these little bears do you want your bear noah okay so noah's gonna take his bear they're not filled with anything but they were 99 cents they were 99 cents, um, so I grabbed each kid one. And then I found these rolled pie crust. They were 50 cents, so I grabbed four to keep in the freezer. We can use them for, for chicken pot pie. We can use them for lots of things. How much were the fried pork skins? $4, around $4, three something, $4. I don't even know because the kids picked them out. So there's that. And then I found this vanilla almond granola for $1.99 and that's 10 ounces and then we've never tried these but it's um I don't know is it Mexican hot chocolate I'm not sure I saw it on YouTube though it looked so good it was $1.99 I think it's a great price for these so we'll try making hot chocolate with that and then these protein bars were $3.99, I believe, $2.99 or $3.99 for this whole box of uh, 10. And then the candy canes were 50 cents. We got cherry, classic peppermint. Is that what it looks like? Can I have mine? Yeah, you can have yours too. Let me see your shirt, Noah. It's Christmas. Up to no, up to snow good. <laughs> and then red hots. They wanted to try the red hots. So for 50 cents, I said, go ahead. And then for something fun, I found these uh, mega cookies, oatmeal chocolate chip. They're supposed to do in the microwave. So that's what they look like. These were 99 cents. I grabbed two. And then for the hot chocolate, because we've been doing a lot of hot chocolate, I found these mini marshmallows for 99 cents. And then the kids found these uh, Swedish fish um, for six for a dollar. So they grabbed six. And then I saw these. It's by Baker's Dipping Chocolate. I think you just like melt it in the cup and you can dip pretzels or fruit or whatnot. These were 99 cents. I grabbed two to try it out and see how it is. I've never tried this. I believe this 30 sticks was $4.99 and I wanna try it because I, I need to cut back on my sugar. I love my coffee sweet and I put the almond creamer, but that's pretty sweet. And then I put a bunch of sugar. So I want to try these. And if they're good, I'm going to go grab a bunch of thing, a bunch of these because I go to it. You like, like something you run out you don't have it anymore. So, um, zero calories, zero net carbs, all that good stuff. So I don't know if you guys ever tried this. Let me know if it's any good. Like I hate sweet and low and stevia and stuff like that. So I really hope it doesn't taste like that. And then I found this organic um, turmeric golden tonic tea, and I believe this was 
And then Emma got these Takis, zombie Takis. They were $2. And then something different, Velveeta skillets, one pan dinner kits, uh, ultimate cheeseburger, mac and cheese. Um, this was $1.49. I grabbed two of them. And then this is not a food item, but I just uh, think this is so beautiful with the stone. It has a little bit of shimmer to it. This was $7.99 for my uh, paper towel holder, and I definitely need a new one. Uh, the one I have, we've had for 16 years since I got married, so it's time for a new one. And then I found this uh, blood orange soda, I guess. Um, it looks really good. We like anything blood orange, and look at that. It's really pretty. This was $2.49. And we definitely love sunflower seeds. We snack on them. The whole family loves to snack on them. And these were only $1.99, which is a really good price because at the international store, like uh, the European store, they're so expensive. So I grabbed four bags of those. I know I've grabbed those before. They just had a different packaging and they're pretty good. And those are uh, roasted with sea salt, which can be kind of salty. So we usually mix these with like some of the ones that don't have any salt so it's not too salty and it works out great and these uh cheddar crackers kind of like ritz but a knockoff huge one pound was 99 cents and it doesn't even expire till the end of january so great price on that just a good snack for the kiddos and then last but not least these boom chicken pop individual Popcorns were $1.49, so I grabbed their six single servings in one, so I grabbed two bags, so a total of 12. So that is what I got at my discount store. I haven't been for a while. Honestly, I was in the area because <laughs> it's not that close by my house. It's about, oh, I'd say 15 minutes. So I went in for these, and I was really excited to find all these other great deals less than $90 I don't think is bad for all of this good stuff anyways if you guys like this haul give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys in my next video Bye -bye.